This video answers the question, what is the impact of third-party cookie depreciation? Third-party cookies have been the main method on the web to identify users across different domains for personalised targeting. They are stored under a different domain than the one you're currently visiting. They are mostly used to track users between websites and display more relevant ads between websites. First-party cookies, in contrast, are stored under the same domain you're currently visiting. So, if you are on example.com, all cookies stored under this domain are considered first-party cookies. Those cookies are usually used to identify a user between pages, remember selected preferences, or store your shopping cart. You can hardly find a website nowadays that does not use first-party cookies, and this is not likely to change in the future. When people talk about a cookie-less world, or cookie-less advertising, they really mean the phasing out of third-party cookies. The deep Firefox and Apple have paved the way by blocking third-party cookies by default. Google, with its 64% browser market share, announced a privacy strategy in 2019, but has delayed phasing out third-party cookies until the end of 2023 to establish alternatives for the industry through the Privacy Sandbox initiative. The depreciation of third-party cookies undermines the established practices of digital advertising. It will affect audience targeting, retargeting and lookalike audiences, frequency capping and cross-channel attribution, by removing the current means advertisers use to connect to their customers.